Caution. All garages are different. Watch this video all the way through and carefully read written instructions before installing. If you are unsure or uncomfortable with installing this product, contact a structural professional. Always test this mechanism using a live load. Never stand, allow children or pets to be under lifted object. Misuse or improper installation of this product can result in serious injury or death. Follow all safety rules and regulations of tools and ladders while installing this product. Wear safety glasses and protective gloves when installing this product. Assembly of the frame. Put end caps on each of the three arms. Depress the spring button and insert the front arm. First hole for JK four door Jeeps. Second hole for TJYJ CJ Jeeps. Third hole for JK two door Jeeps. Depress the spring button and insert the front of the T using the corresponding hole for your Jeep type. Insert the remaining bar, we will call the bottom arm, on the bottom of the T to form a larger T. Depress push button and slide arm into second hole position. The first hole is for JK two door Jeeps only. The second hole is for all other Jeeps. Insert J hooks and thread on hooks three threads past top of nylock nut. Insert J hooks and thread on hooks three threads past top of nylock nut. Come along. Begin by backing your Jeep into your garage relative to where you want to store your hardtop. Draw a plumb line from the approximate center of your hardtop using a weight on a string. For our original mark, we just measured using our plumb line. Mark the ceiling and find the closest ceiling joist. We now have our ceiling mounting point. Now we can install the come along manual unit on a side or back wall straight from the ceiling mark or 90 degrees we just made. Keep in mind we have a little less than 14 feet of cable so we want to pick the closest mounting point. Next measure 60 inches up and find a wall stud. You may go up or down from this measurement but keep in mind you'll need space for the handle to actuate. 60 inches is a good place to start. Find and mark centers of wall. Stud finding the center is very important. Using the 3 8 inch drill bit Drill a 3 inch deep hole in the middle of the wall stud. Open your parts bag and get one of the two eye lag bolts. Start by hand until turning becomes hard. Then use a large screwdriver or equivalent to screw lag bolt in until it is almost at the base of the eye. Install the handle on the come along. Clip the safety claw hook into the wall eye lag. Remove sear clip from pulley pin. Remove pin from pulley assembly and set aside pulley, sear clip, and pin. Find a ceiling stud above where you're going to lift your Jeep top. Use the empty pulley assembly as a template to mark drill holes. Drill 1 8 inch pilot holes then secure to the stud using the screws provided. Put the line in the bracket. Replace the pulley, pin, and sear clip. You may need to squeeze the sear clip gently before installing. 
Caution. Make sure the sear clip retains tension and is tight. Familiarizing yourself with the come along. The come along comes with a release lever on the side that is toward the wall, so that you can manually unspool cable and hook the pulley to the ceiling. To press and hold this lever and pull out enough cable to reach the ceiling. Never depress this lever with a load. Test the installation with a live load, and then let's familiarize ourselves with a securely fastened static load of 20 pounds or more. The come along has an engagement lever that depresses the metal finger into the cog to engage lifting. Wear gloves whenever working with cable. To lower, flip lever the opposite way and push handle all the way toward the wall and the cable will release one cog at a time. Be sure to leave at least three spools of cable on the spool. Balancing using the lifting blade. You will need to find a balancing point on the lifting blade. Below is an illustration of good starting points, depending on Jeep type. Please note these are starting points and each top configuration is different. You may have to move forward or back to properly balance top. Remove the pin at the end of the cable and attach it to the frame. Gallon jug is a little trick that acts as a counterweight. The operator removes any attaching hardware holding the top to the Jeep body. Now lower the frame to the top of the Jeep and attach the hooks. The top is then ready to lift.